Hi everyone, Melissa here with Create Your Future. In today's video, I want to talk about a simple formula to manifest anything. Um, before I get started on the video, I just want to do a quick announcement. Um, I'm having a 50% off sale on coaching. So if you are thinking about doing coaching uh, or have done it before and want to do it again, now is a really good time to get a good deal on some sessions. So check out the links in this video. Okay. How do you manifest anything? This can be a relationship, health, job, wealth, car, house, uh, anything, absolutely anything, uh, no limits. So you want to create a new relationship, you want to fix an old one, you want to cure a health uh, issue, you want to get a new job or a promotion, um, no limits to what you, what this formula will work for. Okay, so step number one, decide what you want. Get clear about what your desire is. So what do I want? Step number two, figure out what you're telling yourself about why you can't have what you want. What story do you have going on that's making you think that you can't have it? So that could be anything. If you have a sentence that goes like this, I really want this job, but anything after the word but is a story you're telling yourself that's contrary to your desire and will be a block to you getting your manifestation. So we wanna figure out what all those little but, 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 why I can't have it reasons are. Uh, it helps sometimes to write them down if, if you feel like a lot are coming up. Okay, so step number three, figure out what your new story is going to be. So you want to create a new story for what you desire instead. So you take that list from number two and you say, okay, I can't get this job, but my company is not uh, promoting, we're promoting people right now. Change that to the opposite. Change that to, I want this new job and it's gonna be easy to get because they're always moving people up, okay? So step number three is you're, you're creating what your new story is going to be that aligns with your desire. Step number four, start drilling your new story. This is where mental diet and affirmations are a huge help. So every time you catch yourself telling your contrary story, thinking the doubts and the old thoughts about what, what is currently showing up that you don't like or what you don't have, then you drill your new story. Drill it, drill it, drill it until it feels like your new truth. You want to get to a place where your new story feels like your new truth where you feel indifferent about whatever's going on currently that doesn't match what you want. We want you to feel indifferent about any current circumstances that are showing you that you don't have what you want. When you can get to a place of indifference about current circumstances, that is the sweet spot. That is when you know that you don't have any resistance because you know what? The old story doesn't matter anymore. I know what's happening instead. That's a sweet spot, okay? So you're trying to get to a place of indifference. And then drill your new story at that point of indifference. Decide this is happening instead. Step number five, boom, it outpictures in your 3D. Okay, so I want to go through the steps again. So I kind of went through that a little bit fast. So step number one, decide what you want and get really clear about it. Because if you don't really know what you want, your manifestations are going to show up kind of wishy-washy. You might get part of what you want, but not all of it, partial manifestation, or or something's going to show up hot and cold. So know exactly what you want. Like get, get honest with yourself and like, what do I want? Number two, what stories are you telling yourself that mean you can't have what you want? What, what do you think are the reasons why you can't or don't have what you want yet? Identify those. Step number three. Write out your new story instead. So take all those reasons why you think you can't have it, figure out why you can't, decide why you can't have it, give a counter argument. Those are going to become your affirmations, your new story. Then, what are we on? Step number four. So then you're going to drill your new story every time you start telling your old story. Every time you catch yourself in your mind thinking about why you don't have what you want or that you don't have what you want, Drill your new story. This is where we say mental diet is key to manifesting. You are putting your thoughts in check. You are you have a gate at the the base of your thoughts, right? 
Nothing gets through this gate unless I say it does. And only my new story, only my new thoughts are going to get through that gate, okay? So mental diet, drill your affirmations for your new story. Get to a place where you feel indifferent about current circumstances because you so believe in your new story, because your new story is the only truth. Because you know what? My thoughts create, I'm changing this. This is what's true instead. That's it. It's done. This is what's true instead. I'm indifferent about current circumstances. I don't care about them. They don't matter. I don't need them because I know this is what's true instead. As soon as you hit that sweet spot, you're rolling into step number five, which is watching it show up in the 3D. I mean, if you can really go through these steps and catch whatever you're thinking your old story is and drill your new story instead and get to that place of indifference. A lot of people, you know, that, that feeling of indifference, a lot of people will say, I just knew it was done. So that is another indication. If you can feel that feeling of, oh, I just know this is true now. I just know this is done. I'm indifferent to the old story because it's old. It doesn't even matter anymore. It's in the past. It's gone. It's dead. It's the old story. If you can get there, your manifestation is going to show up any minute because you have killed the old story. You've killed the old man, as Neville would say. You, you've, you know, you buried the, buried the dead. You've, you've gotten rid of the unwanted and you've brought in your new story instead. You've, you've allowed room for your new story to show up, for your desire to show up. All right. I hope this helps you. You can do it. You can have whatever you want. You just have to follow these steps. It doesn't have to be hard. Just know what you want. Know what your old story is. Tell your new story instead till you believe it. Boom, shows up. Okay. Um, if you feel like you need help figuring out the story you're telling or just how to get to that place of indifference, I am here. I would love to help you. That is where coaching can be so valuable. So. Um, Sign up with coaching for me if you want some help. I would love to meet you and help you. Also, uh, before I end this video, I just wanted to, to announce I have a new affirmation bundle out. Um, it is for manifesting health, weight loss, and fitness. If you have been trying to manifest any one of those things, I created this affirmation bundle specifically for you. I intended to make this specific for those uh, areas. So, um, any type of fitness goal, any type of weight loss goal, any type of health goal. These affirmations are specifically tailored for that. So check that out um, it, to help you start telling your new story about that and getting that manifestation. And then uh, last thing I wanted to say is I have a 14 day mental diet money challenge. So if you've been trying to manifest money or you just want to up your money game, that is also a great option. And links will be in the, the description of this video for coaching and my courses. Um, I really hope this helped you. Manifestation is so simple. You just have to get out of your own way. So um, I hope that you have some success using this formula. And if you do, please put it in the comments or email into sessions because it makes my day to see people getting what they want. All right. I hope this helped you and I will see you in the next one.